Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video of Super Move Ninja! And, guess what? Gonna sound really cool, I'm gonna say. I got a new screen recorder. That's right, I'm not limited to 15 minutes anymore. So now you can ram let me ramble on talking for even longer. I bet you're happy about that. So now you get to ramble and uh, hear me ramble on talking really, really long. And now I'm going to give a full on introduction. My name is Super Movie Ninja. My channel's name is Super Movie Ninja. And yeah, you're watching Super Movie Ninja. So you may be wondering what movie am I reviewing today? And. If you read the thumbnail, you know it's ba 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 Blue Beetle, possibly one of the best comic book movies around. Possibly one of the best comic movies I've really comic book movies I've really ever seen. It's honestly a great movie, and everything about it that's great is pretty unexpected too. So, I will say the movie does take a while to start kicking off with the actual Blue Beetle action and getting the suit and stuff, but it's your origin story movie. It's not supposed to have him right away with the suit. It So, just keep that in mind if you're going to go see it. I'm um, sorry that, by the way, if I sound a little muffled, just some stuff. Um, and then, you know, kind of takes a while to really get kicked off. But it really is a great movie. The comedy right away kicks in. Not gonna give any spoilers, but there's some really funny stuff. And the comedy is just great. Then, another great thing about this movie is the suit. I can ramble on about this suit for hours, probably. The amazing thing about this suit is that it kind of gives you, like... Iron Man and Spider-Man suit vibes, where you have the tech of Iron Man and the suit quality of Spider-Man. It's kind of like an Iron Spider suit, almost. It has Iron Man and Spider-Man traits. So, great suit. Really looks slick and stuff, and you can tell that it's not CGI, but it almost looks like it's always covered in CGI. That's how good it is, and it's just really great. Then... You know, this is a really unique movie, but I'll tell you why. Now, you may be thinking, how is this movie unique? It's unique in the sense that right now, we're getting a lot of multiverse stories. And there's not been a lot of origin story movies lately. When I think about the last origin story movie I actually saw was in 2019 which was Captain Marvel. And there's not a lot of origin story movies anymore. So for this to pull back on the multiverse action, instead, we're pulling forward on the standalone origin story movies that do not set up like a whole universe. It's just superhero movies being made. And I love my multiverse, multiverse stories. I really do. I'm a big fan of The Flash, as you see in my Flash review. And I'm also a big fan of other multiverse movies, like Spider-Man No Way Home. But there comes a time where you also need something else in your mix of superhero movies. And that's what Blue Beetle does great. It gives you a funny, good origin story movie that you're not saying they're like when is this over or and it doesn't give you a whole bunch of cameos or something to get you interested in this movie or to give you some hype it really fully hypes itself on the fact that it's a great origin story movie like I can ramble on here about how it balances him trying out his powers 
but also having idea about his powers. Like, so he's trying out his powers, but he's also learning. Like, he knows his powers, but he's learning his powers at the same time. And what I mean by he knows his powers is that you you see at the end that he can see what this suit can do for him. But he's also still, still learning the responsibility of this suit. And some people are saying it pulls an Uncle Ben at one moment. I'm not going to spoil anything here, but... People are saying that it does not. It feels like its own complete thing. So don't be fooled by that. Then another great thing about this movie is that action. Once it starts kicking, it honestly has some really great action. And what I mean by this is, like at that final bow, when Blue Beetle is fighting one of the villains. Fun fact: There's two. It's really something that you want to stand up and cheer for. Because the impact of that scene to that entire movie is really just something different. Then there's, of course, the comedy you might see in, in the trailer. Like, the grandma is, like, some, like, really cool action hero. That's pretty funny. You don't really expect it, though. Even though it's in one of the trailers, I don't expect it still. And then, it really just is all around a great movie. It's honestly well made, too. Like, it doesn't feel like, okay, it's an enjoyable movie, but it's not well made. For example, Across the Spider-Verse. I can't even believe I'd say that that movie was enjoyable. It's enjoyable in some aspects, but it's not a good movie. And what I meant, and what I mean by Across the Spider-Verse is enjoyable, but not a good movie, is that it's enjoyable. It, you you kind of like w what you're watching, but it's not well made. The animation is bad. It's really bright and it gets all flickery people are even having seizures from it and then we get bad frame weights this is a well-made movie you got a well suit and the fight scenes are well choreographed and everything is just a great movie then there's other great things like the performances i'd say the performances are relatively good they're not stand out oscar winning performances but they are performances that are good. And they're not like Killian Murphy and Oppenheimer good performance. They're good performances in the sense that they're very comedic and very well with their timing when they are comedic. And they, and like the guy who plays Blue Beetle, who's also in Cobra Kai, he, you can tell he really understood Blue Beetle and was able to, to adapt this character into his own practically. He really was able to do a good job as Blue Beetle. And for the first Blue Beetle movie, I think this is a very well-deserved entry for moviegoers and just movies alike. So, what do I say? Go see the movie. Go give it a packed house. Give some money to this movie. People are not seeing this movie. Which it opened with a $30 million opening weekend from what I understand. I saw it on a weekend. And it's honestly just a great movie. Give it a packed house. And before I go. Please smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And ring that notifications bell so you never miss a video. And with that said. Super Move Ninja is 